Hello everybody, I am the Vision of Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem, finally! Now, before we begin today's episode, I have a little bit of explaining to do, because I didn't do it last episode. Because if you go into trade here, uh, you can uh, give uh, items and take items from uh, Molina's shop, and he has a, a section for each uh, weapon and for each item and for items so yeah also if you go into the fortune you can check your ranks and I have low on tactics which actually means that I'm just doing badly on turns which I always do and then you can see your personal information right here and if you go to augury you can actually ask her for to predict the future in your next battle but I don't need it I already know what she says you can do it, it's only 50 bucks if you want. I don't really need it, so let's get into the, the map. Not that I would shall I join you. If you deploy my tent, I can help with the equipment. You can switch items for you and hold them in packs when your packs are full. However, my tent cannot be moved about. So if you deploy it, it will require a god. I beg your understanding. Yes, and I don't know really if I explained this, I probably did, but if you deploy Melina's tent, he ca he needs some protection. He cannot die, however, but he will not gain ex any experience if, um, if, um, if he dies. Well, we had this text, well, mainly Urk over here is there. Oh, I also changed my position, uh, positions of the uh, characters that I have here just so that they can attack basically I don't know what I'm saying but I'm finally back to recording and that's all that matters no I do not want to end my turn accidentally uh, and then waste all everything because I want Urk to be in my party yes Urk you need to join this party up in here and you need to stop being so cold to the to, to women. Which he will do in this episode, which I already spoiled. Yay! Okay, let's continue here and not be a jerk. How are you guys been doing? I've been doing great. Although I'm a bit out of recording since I took uh, my break. Now I'm going to... Uh, let um, oh you can support do I want you to support um, maybe maybe yeah let's support ah Elwood it's good to see you're still well hmm you expected otherwise no of course not I knew you'd be fine Hector wait a moment what do you want nothing it's enough to see that you're alive and you're still fighting just wanted to make sure you weren't overdoing it without me with me not around. I should sure say I should say the same to you. Me? Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I'm built off, you know. A little too much is just enough for me. But you, you've never been a hardy one, Elliot. Nor are you used to travel. Go on too long and you'll collapse. We are we all weak things compared to you, Hector. Thankfully wars are not won by strength alone, eh? We've been sparring once every two months since we were twelve. And of 30 matches, 14 I won, 12 I lost, and 4 were draws. Uh, I take not. I recall 31 matches and an even 30 turning split with 5 draws. Yes, well, you recall wrong if I'm, I'm in the right. Mm. What makes you so certain? Who's, who snoring was it that shook the rafters in the numbers class? Ah, good point. Still, I'm touched you were worried about me. Now, back to the fray. Hey, wait, blast! Now you can wonder who is right here, Hector or Elliot? <laughs> because basically, Hollywood just convinced Hector that he was in the right because Hector is bad at numbers. And that makes you think, doesn't it? No, not really, but whatever. Let's just get our units over here. And I want uh, Sarah to be over there, because units will come towards me 
and Urk will pro will most likely come towards me as well, and they will attack Guy. And I don't remember putting Guy in harm's way, but whatever. He didn't even do any damage. You motherfucking idiot! You dare to attack Guy? Well, Guy can evade your mighty lands and just pierce you. Actually, him missing with a 72% of hitting. Well, that's pretty rare. But then again, he's attacking Guy, and Guy's a mercenary who has a lot of speed. So, yeah, there you go. Now, Urk is programmed to run towards you. Um, and that's pretty much helpful here. Priscilla, has your escort returned yet? No. He has le left yesterday in search of a way out of here. I just hope the loud soldiers haven't captured him. His search for help must have been fruitless. Marcus Laos has ordered the no aid to be given to you. There's really nothing that any of us can do. I apologize, but... No, no. You could turn me over to the Marcus. And yet you continue to grant me asylum. I'm grateful for that. And of course, it wouldn't simply went to the castle. This would all be over. Don't fret over that. None of us overly fond of that Marcus. He's always treating us, threatening us, treats us like slaves. All of these war preparations, we want nothing to do with him. We may be divided into territories, but Olysians one and all. We may be invaded by another country one day, but why does he want to start a war at, here at home? None of us un understand what he is doing. So there's a trouble in the, in the realms of Laos. Or whatever it's uh, it na its name. Marcus Darren of Laos. He's the villain here, and we want to kill him because that's what we do. I don't even know. No, killing is a bad thing. You shouldn't kill other people just because you don't like them. It's not nice. It's not very nice. Yeah, I'm going to um, move out uh, Bartry in this chapter, but Dorcas uh, can stay here and protect Molinus. Yeah, because Molinus will need a guard, not really, in this chapter. Unless certain events happen, which I don't think they will. Unless I get really unlucky, you know? Guy! To the rescue! Will you level up? No, apparently not. Now here, Sarah, you can talk to Urk. Oh my gosh, Urk. Urk, it's been so long. What are you doing here? Oh, Sarah, you're the last person I wanted to see. Oh, that's sweet. You wanted to see me again. Oh, I know, this is perfect. Come with us and lend a hand, Urk. I beg your pardon? Come on, I'll even introduce you to Lord Hector and Elwood. I know or you're probably just wandering around without work. No, sir, I'm afraid I am gainfully employed. However, if you're fighting laws, that might work out after all. What are you battling about? Look at their mind, will you? My employer is hiding in a village south of here. If you'll help me protect her, I'll join up with you. And that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to help Urk protect his lady friend. Yes, Eric, that's one of your possible co your possible candidates for marriage. So you should not be so cold to her. You know, you're a cold guy, even though you wield fire and now t thunder. Yep, that happens. Stuff happens. You know, when life gets you down, you get back up. <laughs> what am I saying, even? Why is even anyone listening to these videos anymore? Probably not. Level up! That was actually a very good level up, you know. But I'm not going to use any of the knights. So sorry. Nope. Chuck Tessa. Ooh, critical hit from Marcus! Yeah, that's what a critical hit looks like. You know, it's critical. 
And that's why you don't want to trade Marcus right there. That's the entire reason why you don't want to trade Marcus. He gained one experience. One. Yep. Oh, what's all this? Looks like a wash broken out. Haha. -ha. Perfect time for a raid. Up and at him, mates. The village is right for plunder. Well, that is something we aren't going to allow, right, Erk? We need to rescue that village before, you know, the bandits come and tear the shit up. Tear shit up, you know? As for um, Gil uh, Oswin, I almost said Gilliam. <laughs> Oswin and um, Dorcas over here, I have no use for them in this chapter. As for uh, Marcus, however, I do have some use for him, and that's uh, to visit this village over here. Damn, you hit me! Oh, I'm going to hit you back. You know, because stuff. Uh, someone, Rebecca. Okay, let's see here. Okay, you have. Uh, I can heal low in here. Yep. And basically that's all we do in this chapter. I'm not going to do any uh, supports anymore for this chapter. Hopefully these two idiots don't get a support with each other. Because that would suck. You know. Because once you have a support with, with a person, you, you can't... Um... I don't know if you can undo it actually. I'm not too sure on that. Well, okay then. Hector, finish him off. Thank you. Then you level up. Level up. Level 4. Well, in despite of how it looks, Hector is actually the best lord. Yep, he's a beast. And Elwood is the middle one, probably. Well, he's probably the suckiest one, maybe. Depends, depends on your levels, really. Depends on how lucky you get. And... Really? This just happened. That just happened. Apparently, I thought those uh, the woods were good for evading, you know? But apparently not. My bone? My bones ache! The signs point to rain, yes? Watch yourself. I don't even know. I'm I'm really out of the voice acting. <laughs> I really should get back into that more. I'm sorry if you uh, heard like uh, some noise because I was moving the mic. And there, Rebecca, you leveled up. Thank you. It's actually surprising that you cannot hit twice already on these uh, idiots. So let's move the characters as far as we can before it starts to rain, you know. If you want an X user besides Hector, you can uh, train Bar Bartray over here. You know, because Bartray is a pretty good uh, character to have. But I don't really use him because there are better. Uh... Bartray is a good unit, but there are better units out there. You know, out there, no, just no. Will you hit? No, of course not. But um, pirates do have an advantage in water though, so be careful. Part of the water is the pirate's main domain. Now for these idiots, you need to watch out where your step is, because this here is the boss. He's Eric, the... 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 the what is it? Whatever it is, the... one who talks to snakes, whatever. Yes, he's Voldemort. No, he's not. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just making none of none of all the sense. Damn you, motherfucker! Die! Die! You will not get this village. I will get this village. Blast! They're stronger than I had suspected or supposed. To the castle. I want all reinforcements available, and I want them now! 
North Eric is struggling. He requests reinforcements. What? Ready to bend. Unbelievable. These numbers cannot stop them. Ephidel, why are, you, why are you going? It seems that conquering Lycia might have been too much to ask of you after all. I must inform my master. The Black Fang will be leaving at once. No! You... You can't abandon us! Not at this stage! Who was it that said Ostia mustn't learn of our plan? Wasn't it you, Lord Darren? The Marcus of Laos himself? Yes, it was. There's no turning back for me. Not now. Please, one more. Give me one more chance. I assure you, I will not disappoint Lord Nurgle. Very well. Assemble your men. We will regroup elsewhere. Uh, you can't mean... My son. My home. Am I to abandon them? Would you fall in disgrace along with your son? Our master, Lord Nergro, is offering you the throne of all of Lycia. Surely a few sacrifices are not too much to ask. Yes, you're right. My destiny is greater than this. I was born to be king of Lycia. And as for an heir, you're still too young, my lord. You will have time. You must not let a moment sentimentally quell out with your judgment. Where are my reinforcements? Why haven't they come? I have no choice. I must attack. You, to the castle. Fight, more men. Yes, my lord. And he will attack Guy. Well, you are an idiot because Guy has a killing edge and he will kill you. He will rape your face. He will tear you to shreds. He will send you back to where you came from. You fucking idiot. And now they're not in one attack. But Guy can take care of them all and Guy can even attack twice now. Yep. That's how beast he is. Well if you want to train him he uh, is a good character. But for this run I normally train him but for this run I'm not going to train him. Why? Because I'm going for some tra training someone else. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. Now you, and you, and I'm going to move everyone closer so that they can uh, attack once uh, the rain stops, you know? Because it sucks having rain. Rain sucks. Yep, that's pretty much the, the statement of this episode. And I finally get to visit this village. You men battling Eric and this man, right? Tell me. Let me tell you, I'm on your side. Oh, I'm not going to reach your idiot. See, just give me your sword. And you guys can sit there for all I care. And he's going to attack Rock. You fucking fool. You cannot mess with almighty Urk. Because Urk is beast. And in the next turn, if I am correct, uh, the rain will end soon. So basically, two more turns, and then the rain will end. Yep. That's basically what I think is going to happen. Not too sure, and I'm going to attack equip you with the sword. And as for you, I'm going to equip you with the sword as well. Maybe that iron blade even. Just wait, and then end my turn. And hopefully no one is in, in the path of uh, of of uh, Mr. Uh, nice guy over there, because I had a failed recording of this where uh, the character that I'm about to get got killed. Yep. And I need the character in order to get a certain other character, which I'm going to use. Yes. So if you know which character this is, you already also know which character I'm going to use. Hey Priscilla, are you well? I should be asking you that, Urk. Have you been wounded? I'm fine. Listen, my lady, I found some friends who will help us. Trudy? We'll be joining with Marques Fraser's son. Traveling with, with them seems to be the safest way for us to continue to search for your family. Urk. Oh, my apologies. This isn't a place to 
to discuss such things. I'm sorry, but... Lady Priscilla, my teacher entrusts you to my care. Until you have reached your goal, I will not leave your side. Thank you, Irk. See, you can't care for ladies, Irk. You just need to be a little warmer in your approach. That's all. Now, as for you, I want to know where you can move. Yeah. Thank you. And I want you to know where you can move. Okay, thank you. And now I can basically end my turn here. Yep, that's how we do things. And they will move, and they will move, and they will move, and they will move. I'm so moved by all this. Uh, okay, you're going to attack Rebecca. Well, that's fine. That's just fine. You're going to die anyway. Because I don't care about you. You can die. Rot in the hole. For all I care. And I wonder if the archer is going to attack Rebecca. Probably is. Because Rebecca's probably the weaker one. No, he's attacking alone. Well, that's a surprise. I wasn't expecting that, but whatever. You. How can you... Yeah, you can probably almost finish him off, and then Rebecca can finish off the job. Yep. There. Voice crack. Yeah, so I'm so very interesting, and this recording has actually been going on for a bit too long, so I may just end my recording after this turn, you know, I'm going to end, end it on this turn because basically the only thing that's left are these bandits over here. And they will take one turn to kill, you know, with Marcus Blade. And then you have those bandits down there, but they will uh, be a jerk, really, for a while. As for uh, these idiots, they can die for all I care. Yep, they can die. You! Uh, yeah, of course. Why not? Why the hell not? Make it even faster for me to kill them. Loen, can you do something? Of course you can. And then we can kill the archer and then end my turn by killing the archer. Right here. Yeah. And make sure you, uh, you know, Divide weapons, you, you know, uh, weapons like the rapier and the, the wolf bale, they may, may be powerful, but they're law weapons so you don't get them back. And there aren't any of them in the game. So yeah, let's see how the, how the, the, the units move, and then I will end my turn, because, you know, of end my video, because, you know, it's been going on for a bit long, and the only thing that's really left is the boss over here, and he isn't that hard, he will go down in one turn. So yeah, that's basically it. I will move uh, Matthew and uh, and Guy over to these bandits, and then I'm going to end my recording now. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Fire Emblem. Hope you enjoyed this little thing. And I really need some practice because I need to get back into commentary because my commentary has been stale. At least I find it stale. Hope to see you guys next time. Till then.